Hi there, welcome to this tutorial from lithus.com where we are looking at the map interface. So we'll look at what's a map, what are the different uh, Java classes which imp implement the map interface and uh, high level what are uh, the differences between those classes. Um, let's get started. So what's this map interface? I mean, uh, what does the map interface define? Map interface is a interface which defines all the methods that would help you store values in a key value pair. So key value pair. So let's say I want to store, I want to create a list of, uh, like I, like I want to maintain an inventory of things. I mean, I'm, let's say I'm running a car shop and I want to uh, find out how many cars of each type I have. So the one of the implementations that I can consider is to store the values in a key value pair. So for example, I can say I have BMW, uh, three cars, and I have Mercedes, one car. Oh, if I have all this, then probably I will be during the tutorial, but yeah, just for an example. And uh, let's say I have another variety of the car of two types. So I, I would put this as key value pairs in the hash map. So I will put BMW as the key and three as the value. So when I'm processing the list of cars, as soon as I see a car of Mercedes, I would get, I'll say get the key of Mercedes and increment the value of by one. So let's say I have another BMW car, then I would say BMW comma four. So basically uh, the map interface is used for things which store a key value pair. Here the key is BMW and the value is four. Mercedes and two. So if you look at all the methods in the map interface, the first thing that you need to note also is that map interface doesn't exist, extend the collection interface. So even though map is part of the collection discussion, uh, it doesn't really extend the collection interface. So that's a very important distinction. And also, uh, the uh, if you look at all the important methods in the map interface, one of the most important methods is put. So I can put at a particular uh, key, a particular value. So I can remove a, a particular key and get the value for a particular key. So I can say put, so I can say map.put, map.put Mercedes comma two, or I can say, so this would put a value, a key Mercedes with value two, or I can say map dot remove Mercedes. So this would remove Mercedes from the list. And so this is put, this is remove. And the other one I can do is map dot get Mercedes. It would return the number of Mercedes cars that are present. And earlier we had five. So if we looked at here, we put two. So if I do a map dot get Mercedes, it would return back uh, a value two. So you'd see that all the methods which are present in here are to do with a key value pair. So I can put for a particular key, a particular value, or I can get the value of a particular key or remove the value, remove a particular key. So it removes that particular key and value pair from the list, or you can put all. So put all would actually uh, take a list of key value pairs and put them all into the list. Uh, also clear is a standard method in most of the collection interfaces. It would remove all the values, key value pairs from the uh, interface. The other uh, important method is the key set. Key set, when I do uh, the uh, key set method call, it would return all the keys in the form of a set. So for example, if I did in the particular, in the previous example, 
that we had BMW, Mercedes and two. If I do a key set on this particular thing, then I would get BMW, Mercedes and another. So that's basically what I would get back. So I would get the unique keys that are present inside the uh, particular thing. And also it uh, there are other methods, equals and hash code are the standard methods in uh, Java classes. So that's standard. And also you can get the size of the map and also whether check whether it's empty. These are also standard collection methods. Contains key checks whether a particular key is existing on there. So for example, if I do a map.contains key Mercedes here, it would return back true. But if I do a map.contains key, uh, let's say Maruti, then I would get back a value false. And uh, contains value checks for the value. So contains value three would return false. Contains value four would return me a value true. So those are the important methods which are present in the map interface. So we looked at the important methods which are present in the map interface. If you want to simply remember generically, a map is for key values pairs. So it provides all methods to put a key value pair. So it would be uh, map dot put key comma value and it would have all the methods to retrieve values based on the key. So it would have get a value based on the key, remove a particular key and also add all a key a list of key value pairs or a map of free key value pairs. And also it has methods to check uh, whether a key exists, whether a value exists, whether the list is empty and also find out the size of the list. So uh, uh, having looked at the map interface, we will now look, the, look at the implementations of the map interface. So what are the uh, implementations of the map interface? The most important implementations of the map interface are four classes. So it's hash map, hash table, linked hash map, and tree map. So it's hash map, hash table, linked hash map, and tree map. So what is uh, the uh, how these four classes are differentiated is based on something called sort uh, sorting whether the elements are sorted whether the keys are sorted or and also whether they are ordered what i mean by ordered is the order of insertion so if i'm inserting this set of key values where so i'm let's say i'm putting a comma with a value one i'm putting b or some x with value 2 and I'm inserting key b with value 3. So let's say I inserted these values inside the hash map. So if I do a map dot put these three values, uh, if these values are sorted by the key, then this is the all, sorry, let's get back to where we were. If these values are sorted by key then this is how they should be stored so first should be a then b and then x let's say i'm inserting in this order so i'm inserting in the order first i'm inserting a then x then b if it's an ordered collection then it should also store in this order so the element which is insert first is a and then second is second third is third if the collection doesn't guarantee this so if Let's say I inserted it in the order of this. Let's say I inserted after this Y. So if I inserted it in this order, but the collection stores in some different order, then this is called an unordered collection. So in this collection, the order doesn't really matter. So it, there are collections where the order doesn't really matter. So for example, if I all that I'm worried about is what is the value of B, then I don't really care about the order of this. I mean, I don't care whether B is before A or after A. Those kind of collections are called unordered collections. So these are unordered collections. And also, based on the sorting, so here 
uh, A should come first, B should come next, X should come next and Y next after that. Uh, if you don't care about that, that's called unsorted. So unsorted and unordered. So hash map is a map which is unordered and unsorted. So it doesn't care about the order. It doesn't care about the sorting. So you insert in one order, it stores some other order and some other uh, like it and not even in the sorted order. So that's basically what hash map is. Hash table the most important thing about hash table is it's a synchronized version of hash map. Why is it important? If I'm writing a multi-threaded program, then it's very important that it's synchronized. If it's not synchronized, then the value which is changed by one thread might be overwritten by another thread. The last or last value might not be stored and those kind of problems come in. So uh, hash table is hash map plus synchronization. The other two implementations of the maps are linked hash map. Linked hash map uh, is one where the elements are stored in the sorted order. So if I'm inserting, sorry, are stored in the insertion order. So I'm inserting Z comma 5 and Y comma 6 and let's say A comma 15. So the elements would store be stored exactly in this order. So first Z would be stored, then Y, and then A. However, those are not sorted. So you, actually A should come first, Y next, and Z next if it's sorted. But uh, linked hash map stores it in the order of insertion. So its insertion order is maintained, but it's uh, the most important thing is it's not even it's also not sorted so only the insertion order is maintained not sorted order uh, the other important thing about any link thing I mean anywhere you see a word linked it means the elements are linked towards with with linked with a forward link and a backward link and whenever there are links insertion and uh, uh, deletion are very f like uh, in this particular thing uh, insertion and uh, deletion are slow but the iteration of elements is faster the other type of map is a tree map the tree map is actually uh, sorted so if i insert z y and a then the order in which they would be stored are first a it's sorted in the order of keys so what would happen is the it would be stored in this order so A first, Y next, Z next. So that's a tree map. In tree map, the elements are st uh, stored in the sorted order of the keys. So the insertion order is not maintained. So those are the three, uh, like those are the four important implementations of maps. So if you want to remember uh, easily, then you can remember this way. A tree map maintains sorted order. So it maintains it elements in the order of sorting. So A, Y, Z. A linked hash map maintains it in the order of insertion. So if it's inserted in this order, then it would maintain Z, Y, and A. A hash map neither maintains a sorted order nor maintains the insertion order. So it just stores it in some random order which is decided by the algorithm. So there you go. Th those are the uh, important things about the map interface and those are the important classes inside the map interface. Until next time, bye. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.